welcome back to another episode. My name is Callie and at the Butterfly Buddha and I'm here with Max Boogie. Yes sir, what's up, what's up, Max Boogie? Being here. I'm happy to be here. Where did you get this name, Max Boogie? Did you always boogie down? No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, nah. um, I talked about it before. Uh, it's not nothing too spectacular, but it really, it just, it just sprung about. Um, one of my people's from, um, my, one of my closest friends really from high school, he, um, man, he just started calling me Boogie one day. And, um, yeah. I love that. Yeah. And then, um, I had, like, you know, a lot of different mix, um, my fault, different, um, nicknames coming up, stuff like that. But Max Boogie stuck with me, like, once I got into music, you know what I mean? And, um, what he told me is why he started calling me that. I was like, okay, I I like that. It was, he was saying, um, I remind him of Ace from, um, from Pay to Four. Okay. You know what I mean? I was like, okay, yeah, everybody got to eat. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's that's that dude kind of defined me a little bit. So when I started rapping, I was like, that's you know, I'm good with that. That's cool. So how long was that? How long did you have this name for? Um, you started music or like before you started? A little, music? a little bit before I started music, really. Okay. Um, I started really pursuing music probably like 2018. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, and like I said, he gave, he started calling me that like in high school, and then like I said, it it just followed with everybody else. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about your background. Um, man, I'm born and raised Buffalo, New York. Mm-hmm. Um, man, uh, there's so much. Yeah, tell I, us where, a you, tell where us do a you secret. start? You know what I mean? I came up, um, <laughs> average dude, man, from um, from the streets, you know, but just um, it ain't nothing too out of the ordinary, you know, things that go on in the inner city that we dealing with, and we come up and um try to come up out of you know what i mean and that's what um that's what inspired me to do music or start music is to tra- change those change my life for one but change the lives of those around me you know what i mean wow so <laughs> absolutely Ab- absolutely all the time nice yeah nice so when did you um decide that it was time to change like did you just get like that feeling one day when you woke up and you're like, nah, things can't be like this. I really yeah. gotta start making a um, difference. So then you start writing it on paper. Yeah, yeah. Is um, that how it started, or? Not really. It was um, it was a life decision, really. You know what I mean? Um, I'm glad you asked me that too, because now a lot of people really, you know what I mean. But um, I want to know the trigger point, like <laughs> when you got, when you felt that inside of you. Um, so I've been interested in music since I was young, teenager, thirteen you know, teenager, just, you know, writing stuff and kind of practicing it, mm-hmm. but, you know, the, those, the early stages when things around you outside is kind of, like, influencing you, and you're not really taking it serious, you know what I mean? Um, the point that changed me, changed my direction to take it serious was actually, um, I lost a, cl- a cousin, you know what I mean? My um, cousin, rest in peace, 40, Calvin, mm-hmm. um, and, you know, it's like I said, we came up in that environment where you're losing people and people dying. You know what I mean? For real, for real. There's a lot of negativity. But um, when it hit close to home and um, you realize your life can end any day. You know what I mean? If it can happen to him, it can happen to me. You know what I mean? And um, I just wanted to do something with my life. And I love music. You know what I mean? You look up and you don't, you don't want that to be how... You don't want the, that to be the way your story ends. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to do something with my life, leave a, a mark, leave a legacy, and um, something for my family to carry on, you know what I mean, stuff like that, so really, that was really the turning point, is when I lost, you know, not a sad moment right now, but when I lost my cousin, that really, um, it gave me a spark, yeah, it gave me a spark, you know what I mean, yeah. Thank you for being vulnerable. I'm <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm cool. It's I just all good. To know what that was, cause for sure, for sure. Like, yeah, I'm gonna change, but like, what was that that made you want to do that? You know? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, know that was like tough. And multiple. I'm sure you're healing from it too, especially since yeah. you're able to express it and talk about it. Yeah, yeah. So um, he died back in um, 2016. So it's been, you know, it's been a while, but you know, the pain never really go away. But yeah. you know, it's it's all good. We um. We gonna make sure we, his legacy, his legacy lives on as well. Wow. You know what I mean? In my music, you hear a lot of a, like when I say "Rest in Peace, 40 or stuff like that. So, or just anybody, because like I said, we've been, we you know, we lost a lot of people coming up. But like I said, hitting that close to home is what really took it there for me. You know what I mean? Mm. So, what, what are some of your songs that are very like vulnerable that we should check out and listen to? Oh man, um. 
a lot, but like, yeah. like top three. I got, man, my whole, all I write about is like my experiences, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah. top three, um, so all you write about is your experiences. Yeah, I write about so my, you know what I mean? song is an experience that you would want someone to like really listen to? Mm hmm I would say, um, if you go back to Ain't Supposed to Make It, really. Um, my latest project is Different Breed, but the project before that was Ain't Supposed to Make It. If you listen to any song on there, you know what I mean, really. I can't really, yeah. that's why I can't really point, can't pinpoint a song, yeah. you know what I mean. Everything. It, um, and what Ain't Supposed to Make It was about is, you know, what I just said, being surrounded by negativity. Mm -hmm. um, everything around you was set up for you to fail, you know what I mean, so... You don't really have a lot of faith, a lot of hope in yourself, and um, and ain't supposed to make it. That's what it was about, really, and, and trying to battle those demons every day mm -hmm. to come up out of it. You know what I mean? Which is it's not an easy thing to do. You it's know not. what I mean? It's um. I want to know what else you did besides music because I know it goes deeper <laughs> to just like creating music. It's yeah. more so of your habits, your mindset, yeah, yeah, and how you perceive the world around you. Yeah, so, for sure. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um. Man, be honest with you. Cause it, I know it was not easy. No, no, no. It's um, that's really it's a it's a heavy mental game. You know what I mean? Um, I just what I what I um what I latch on to to pull me out of dark moments where I'm like, you know what, man, I'm over it. I'm ready to give up. Mm. You know what I mean? Is um, I go back to the people that I love. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, my mother. Um, my daughter now, my mm. girlfriend, my, my family, you know what I mean? I go back to the people that I love. If I give up on me, I'm giving up on them. I'm doing this for them as well, you know they're what so I mean? supportive, too. They're wearing, <laughs> they, I know you guys can't see, but they're actually here. His family's here right now. Yeah, yeah. They're all wearing Bug shirt. <laughs> Max Bug, yeah. He's wearing the shirt. Yeah. He's like the captain, not wearing the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> He's the captain yeah, Bob. yeah, um, for sure. They, uh, yeah, that's... That's what I always, you know, I fall back to, man. It's my my family. Like, um, yeah. I can't just give up. I'm yeah. not give, not just giving up on me. I'm giving up on them. So I got to pick it up and figure it out. You know what I mean? Wow. Video City TV, it's been getting deep. Listen, if you feel any type of way, if you feel like giving up, remember the things that are most important to you. Remember Absolutely. Remember that you love the most. Yeah. To be able to pick yourself back up. You don't need to focus on the negative. Yeah, exactly. Shed your light, you know? Yep. Shift your perspective. It doesn't have to be that way. Yep. Unless you choose it to be that way. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Everything is a choice. You know yeah. what I mean? You just got to make it. I didn't mean for it to get this deep. We <laughs> wanted to get to know Max Boogie a little bit more. No problem. We're going to show you a music video later, but let's talk a little bit about it. Stupid Rich. Yes, yes. That one, you know, our director even watched a video and he's like, that is so theatrical. It feels like a whole movie. Can you tell me what, who, who thought of that idea? First of all, was it you who wrote everything out? Where it was. Where did all of this come from? Where was it inspired from? Um, is this real life? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's real life. It's it's real life, but not we ain't you know we ain't gonna say we're not robbing people for real or nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but uh, it's um it's real life. Okay, the um the idea really, cause stupid rich. Now that was on my latest project, Different Breed, released on um, July fifteenth. Um, the idea behind stupid rich, it's a little, it's kind of too like it's different different ways you could go about it. What I um what I'm trying to relate is to motivate people once again, like I say, motivate people to um to make that sacrifice, do what you got to do. You know what I mean? Um, grind. When I the title was stupid rich, it's kind of like a, a sales pitch. You know what I mean? People are like always worried about money and stuff like that, and we are too, obviously. Oh, that name, stupid rich. <laughs> yeah. Like, What's this? Yeah, yeah. But um, and yeah, we worried about money too, but we also want to relay messages that matter, you know what I mean? Because it's not always about money. It's about putting in the work to get to what you, you know, the money that you want. Or it could be anything. You could relate it to uh, health goals or mental mindset that you want to go through, you know what I mean? Um, and so that's why I named it Super Rich. The um, the video is... <laughs> the video. The, the robbery is more so the entertainment part, you know what I mean? It's the entertainment, but... uh. It's, 
Yeah. Say anything. Drama in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're not telling people to go rob people. You know what I mean? But that's not the message. That's it's not the message video. at all. But in the same sense, like you said, you could take a negative and turn it to a positive. What you're doing is going out and making the ultimate sacrifice to get to where you want to get to. You know what I mean? And um, that was just the idea. You know what I mean? I was like, okay, it'll be cool to shoot a robbery video. But this is what I'm actually saying. You know what I mean? Mm. So that's stupid rich. Making it clear for the people. Yeah, yeah, for people sure. Who had the wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you got it. It's, it's easy to miss it. You know. Yeah. You know? Yeah, let's get into it. Let's show them Stupid Rich, you guys. This is Stupid Rich by Max Boogie. Yes, sir. Ha! 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 No, we on, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa! Whoa. Stupid rich, Whoa. stupid rich, yo. We gon' do it till we stupid rich. Stupid rich, do it till we stupid rich. Yeah, we gon' do it till we stupid rich. Fat bags with it, I want mad cash. Mad cash. Fat bags with it, I want mad cash. Mad cash. Fat bags with it, I want mad cash. Mad cash. Fat bags, fat bags, mad cash. Fat bags, nigga, I want mad cash with it, uh. Make that to that fucking safe press, nigga. I got ambition, man. Listen, we'll be on that damn mission. Cause it ain't shit to lose. We ain't really get to choose. Had to run it up to one, then I ran it up to two. Then I said, let's double up and add a fire to the fuel. Told him what the fuck was up. They ain't wanna see me up, looking like the game was up. Then I hit the Kobe clutch, back against the wall. Let me know that it was only us, and if I had to fall, I would do it before I grab a crutch. Had it with my arm, couldn't tell me I ain't have enough. Nigga, this is wrong. Pure hunger, yeah, it's strong enough. Huh. Born hustler, ain't no in between. Pump like little Caesars, hot and ready for my bread and cheese. Rhyme till I rise, ramen noodles turn to fettuccine. Dukes whipping what she choose, long as it come hella clean. Hella clean. Stupid rich, stupid rich. Yo, we gon' do it till we stupid rich. Stupid rich, do it till we stupid rich. Yeah, we gon' do it till we stupid rich. Fat bags with it, I want mad cash. Mad cash. Fat bags with it, I want mad cash. Mad cash. Fat bags with it, I want mad cash. Mad cash. Fat bags. Fat bags. Mad cash. Fat cash. Mad cash. Quick dash, pull up in that big jag. You know I be spitting with a purpose. The reason I'm gon' murk it in. All I see is clowns, I'm trying to get up out the circus. So I fall back, feeling like I'm X. Where my dogs at? Can I really keep it real and bring that feel back? Real rap, whipping through the section to this wheel crack. Ground like I ain't never had a dime. Can you feel that? Temple rising in despite of the attempts they make. They against me, mind them up, I bet I make them shake. They gon' try to downplay it. Tell them it's too fucking great. Vogue on that Shikara tip. Blazing out the fucking gate. Face the highest stakes when I was at my lowest place. Took a shot to feed the fam, and that's the risk I had to take. So, mommy, what you say? Don't not desert a cake. I'm the leader of this race, and they can't be no second place. Whoa, place, whoa. Stupid rich. Stupid rich. Yo, we gon' do it till we stupid rich. Stupid rich, do it till we stupid rich. Yeah. We gon' do it till we stupid rich. Fat bags with it, I want mad cash. Mad cash. Fat bags with it, I want mad cash. Mad cash. Fat bags with it, I want mad cash. Mad cash. Fat bags. Fat bags. Mad cash. Mad cash. You know what just says, homeboy? I won't mind, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Max bullshit, man. Feel me? D and D. They told me get how you live, man. It's grind different, nigga. Why? Difference from a king to a pawn And what you know about being ten so strong You run with luck and we don't own no charms But we want it all so we gon' still go hard You walk the other way when things get hard Running and hiding, nah, fuck that dog It's hardball, real flagrant cause 
play through it all to get our statement cross word, word. Kings and queens, king of pawn. Welcome back to another episode of Video City TV. My name is Callie Ann. I'm your host at the Butterfly Buddha, and I'm here with Lady Girl. Welcome to the show. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh man, I just I just had to press record, guys, because we were having a conversation before this. So, Lady Girl is actually a businesswoman and artist musician. So we were talking about your business side. So let, let's talk about that first. Let's get into it. So tell me what it is that you do, because I know you do the Dear Santa Extravagant. Yes, the Dear Santa Extravaganza. Dear Santa. <laughs> Can you tell me what who what that is about? Yeah, so I have two partners. It's uh, my one of my partners is Jewel Montalvo. He's from the Fam, which is based out here in Worcester, and also Jay Rice, who you had on your show. And he's up from out here too. So we decided to collaborate and come together and kind of do um, our version of a give back to our community for supporting our music throughout the year. You know, all year long, we're asking them to come out to shows. It costs twenty dollars again, sometimes even more, and they pay that money to come in and see us. And why not say thank you? You know, and it's best to do it at a time where the give back it feels more genuine. It is genuine, but it feels more genuine. Like we see you, you know. Yeah. And so we throw a big community Christmas party. We usually service between 300 to 350 families. Wow, that's a lot. And, I mean, that's like mom, dad, or just mom and five kids or whatever the case may be. <laughs> and we don't have any age restrictions. We give adults. We make um play games. So we do musical chairs, which is always fun. <laughs> the DJ loves that. Uh, we have pie eating contests. We let them decorate their own ornaments so they can bring them home. We have buffet style feasts going on. Um, we usually have Santa Claus. It's usually black with dreads and he's skinny. But <laughs> this year we don't know what we're going to do oh. for Santa. We'll figure it out. And, um, you know, we, we just like to give back in that sense. We don't want to, like, make it complicated. There's really no sign up. We do ask people to kind of, like, tell us who's in their party and ages and gender so we can shop accordingly because we buy all of this stuff out of our own pockets. There's nothing donated to us. Um, so when we go shopping, we want to know who we're shopping for and if they have likes or dislikes or, you know, you might not like the color purple. You might like blue. <laughs> wow, that's so beautiful what you guys do. And how long yeah. has this organization been going on for? So we've been doing this for five years. We just legally became um, a partnership um, in this year, in this year, in 2022. But we were just regular artists who came together and said, hey, let's do this. Let's give back. And um, on top of that, I have my other business, which is just me. Um, and it's called Hugs and Kisses. And what we do is we use essential Hugs oils to make soaps. Yeah, because so you know, what? and I was like, it makes you want to like cuddle up, like you smell nice, you know. <laughs> oh my god, do you have it with you? Can we see? Yeah, I don't have any set around, but oh. <laughs> it's um. So we what we do is we use um for for the women, it's more like fruity scents and those warm vanilla scents, and for the men, of course, we actually use designer scents. So we have Burberry, Polo, all of those kind of scents. Because women are more attracted to that. Like, I want to lay up under you. It's cuffing season. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is it? Is there, like, a website people can find it? So people can yeah, it's it on, it's a fa I have a Facebook page for it. It's called Hugs and Kisses, H-U-G-Z. <laughs> and Kisses is spelled Kisses with a Z at the end. And you can go on there. You'll see um, all of the products. I have lip gloss infused with 24 karat gold Ooh. flakes. And, yeah, I went fancy. <laughs> So bougie, I love it. Yeah. Um, and so those, those are kind of my business aspect. I'm a community activist. I've, I've gotten awards for that, which is great. A social social justice warrior. Oh. <laughs> right. So fierce. This is a goddess warrior, you guys. Wait till you hear more. Please <laughs> tell us more. I feel like I'm just average. I feel like I do what normal people um, would do. You know, is I advocate for people. I really push for people. Um, I, I'm very resourceful in any resources that I have. I like to share, 
And that's kind of outside of what I do for music. Music for me is my release. So I can take on everybody's whatever they want to throw at me. But when I need to release, I release musically. And when COVID hit, there was no music. So I needed another outlet, which was how I ended up running for office. <laughs> oh, yeah. She ran for office, too, guys. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I know, it's crazy. I I didn't lose by a huge margin. I lost. You know, thank goodness it wasn't by a huge margin. I'm not a great loser, but <laughs> 259 votes wasn't bad, and I'm being encouraged to run for this upcoming um, election in 2023. Wow. I don't know. We'll see. You're a leader in all <laughs> aspects. Like from starting this Dear Santa organization, or what is it? Dance Santa, actually. Because yes. it's a yes, dancing Santa. Santa. <laughs> <laughs> from hugs and kisses, from running for office, and like even your music. I was listening to it. It's very soulful. Like it makes me just Thank like, you. I could feel the release through there. I could feel the healing <laughs> with you being able to just like release. The sadness and sometimes I think I heard the love songs. Those are the love songs that yeah. like hit me and I'm just like, oh, love. I'm like a sucker. But <laughs> I really felt all of that. Yeah, I feel like when I when I write, um, I feel like a lot of times it, it, I always I'm an emotional writer. That's number one. I have to feel it. Yeah, if I don't yeah. feel it, I oh, can't What is do your it. sign? What, what's I'm your Libra. sign? <laughs> Libra. Oh, so you try to yeah. find balance through like releasing. Oh, yeah, yes. are emotional, too. <laughs> <laughs> and I really, really, you know, try to put myself into my music. That's, that's why it's hard for me to ever sell a song, because mm -hmm. I can't write a song. And maybe it might not be the song for me to sing, but I'm like, I wrote that. That's me. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's hard to part with um, music like that. But um, it comes from real life experiences. So everything that you hear in my music is a situation, whether it be mine or a friend or family members or something I've just seen. You know how you're on the outside looking and you're like, girl, what is wrong? Go ahead, get away from him. You know? Uh, or you see someone and you're like, what is so beautiful? <laughs> so that's where the inspiration comes from too sometimes um, yeah. for me to write. And so I just write what I see or feel or have experienced. And most of the time, it's relatable. People can say, you know what, that's my it's girl. Very... I she say that. <laughs> yeah, I actually heard your latest single, She Can't. I think I looked it up on Spotify. And it actually, it's your latest single. And it has the most plays. Like, it, like, doubled up. Like, your music yes. is being heard. People are feeling it. Can you tell me a little bit about that song? Okay, so She Can't is not my story. Okay. <laughs> But it's somebody that I know story. Uh -huh. and, um, you know, just being that air to listen, you know, and hear my friends' grievances. And uh... it was just like, you know what? This is a good song. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy. I shouldn't be thinking like that. But that's the way my brain works. And after, like, it's been, like, years of this situation happening. It's like, let me just put it in perspective. Mm. And sometimes, you know, you hear a song, you're like, she's talking about me. And I know it. I know it, but yeah. sometimes it's inspiration to change your situation. I'm going to be here for you, but this is what you should do, girl. <laughs> oh, my God. So does, did your friend know that this song was inspired by her situation? I think it's evident. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're straight up about it. Okay. And yeah. how did she, like, react or, like, respond to that from, a, from another perspective? They love the song. And I, sometimes I'm like, they must, they have to know it's about them. I don't say it. I would never say, hey, this song is about you. But, <laughs> yeah. But I think they, they sit back and I'm, I know she's talking. You have to know, like, this is my situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, but I want them to see, like, it's not only your situation. There are plenty of people in the same boat. It just, it, it, it's on you on what you do with that how you change it you can stay you can go you can do the caddy thing you can whatever you want to do <laughs> but yeah. this is what it is this is the situation laid out we have the she can't music video right yes yeah we do we're about to air that right now oh my god <laughs> i hope you guys love it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you want to do the introduction for it absolutely okay go ahead absolutely 
I am Lady Girl, and you are tuned into Video City TV. And this is my new track, She Can't. Check it out, guys. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Mr. Running lost a good queen 